What's up, Internet? Corey Zamier here. Unfortunately, sick as a motherfucker. Sick as a motherfucker. But I have an unboxing video for you today. Something I got in the mail from one of my friends, Michael, one of my subscribers. Hang out with him at the trade events. Really cool guy. We did a trade because he wasn't able to make it to the most recent Congo. And I'm going to be sending him some stuff. I had to wait. Because he made it sound like he was going to send me some extra stuff. And based on the size of this box and what I was expecting, I'm glad I waited so I can send him some extra stuff. So you're probably going to see this video before you actually receive your stuff, Michael. So expect some shit. <clears throat> Let's crack this open. I already... I fucking... When I'm sick and when I'm handling a box cutter, I almost killed myself with this, I swear to God. Looks like we got a note in here. Okay. <laughs> Alright. When a friend sends you a package, Giant Dildos Express. Did it say that all over the box? Oh, okay. I was wondering if he sent me the same fucking box. Uh, sorry, no dildos included. Thanks and enjoy, man. <laughs> Fuck it, eh? I already know what I'm using this for. We'll be seeing that again soon. Oh, sweet. This is some stuff I was not expecting. And some stuff I'm gonna have trouble unwrapping. But a complete box copy of Blades of Steel. Ah, the struggle. And of course, I'm also doing this unboxing at like 12.30 at night, so I'm trying not to be too loud. I'm failing though. And so I wake up and be like, why are you talking about dildos? At 12.30 at night. Hey, Hey. Oh. Oh, I'm exhausted. Wait, to steal? Uh, not sure if it's complete, but it's at least in the box. And it might be a uh, box upgrade for the one I have. I do have one of these already, but I think it might be a box upgrade because I think the one I got is kind of beaten up. Oh, what else do we have? Hey, it's the game I was actually trading for. I'm going to have to step up my packaging game when I send my package out to Michael for things. I usually don't go through all this. Like, damn. These things are protected. Wow. Just get out of the bubble wrap. Good lord. Now this game is one that he told me was slightly open, semi-sealed, but it's a game I wanted to get for my collection. It is Samurai Legend Musashi, and I'm probably just going to take the rest of the wrapping off it because I don't care for a sealed game in my collection in general. So BAM! Samurai Legend Musashi, now completely open pretty much. Except for this part on top, but that looks really cool. I still need Brave Fencer Musashi for the original PlayStation. Oh, here's the other item I knew I was trading for. Very happy to have this in my collection. Complete in the long box. Gex. I do have it, I believe, in the regular jewel case. I have a box cutter right here. Be giving myself all these problems, but I also been kind of semi worried about going to the emergency room tonight with how I've been handling this box cutter. Slash, I'm going to slash the game open. Nice. 
This is actually the best condition long box game I think I have. Oh, and it has the styrofoam in the middle. Definitely the best condition long box game I have in my collection now. All the ones I would ever come across, especially the ones that have like the really easily peeled front cover. It's always like falling apart. See, the box, that should have been it. Like, that was what the trade was, just those two games. Everything else in here, he sent was extra. It's crazy. Crazy generous, Michael. Uh, what do we got? Shadow of the Colossus. Complete. See, we put, like, styrofoam in there to keep the discs in place. God damn, he's going above and beyond. That's pretty cool. I don't have this in my collection anymore. I traded it away. I've owned the PS3 version, which is oddly on his list for stuff he's looking for. I don't have the PS3 version anymore, but now I got the PS2 one. What's this? An Xbox RPG. I don't know if I've officially said it in any of the videos. For a while there, I wasn't collecting for original Xbox. I'm thinking about starting up again, especially since we're going to be getting our own place sometime this year, by any means necessary. And I think I'm going to start collecting at least for the original Xbox and maybe some select titles for the 360. And definitely RPGs, so Jade Empire, definitely going to be staying in this collection. Going to need to find the manual for it, but I actually might have trying to think, do I have any Xbox games left in my for sale stuff? I might already have the manual for that somewhere. Two more things left in this package. I don't know how to open this. Good lord. Snake Rattle and Roll for the NES. Makes me wonder if this is another. It is, I can tell. I was thinking these were like PS1 games or something. NES games. What we got here? Oh, this one's ripping through already. Oh, what we got? What we got? I've never seen this title before. Conflict. That's awesome. So, I'm definitely going to have to send Michael some extra shit. So, let me know what you think about this trade package. Let me think. Nah. <laughs> let me know what you think about the items I got. Um, and actually, let me know what you think about collecting for the original Xbox. Because I was doing it before. I stopped because I don't have that much interest in the original Xbox. Because I never had it growing up. But there are definitely some titles I would like to get again, like Stubbs the Zombie, uh, the Knights of the Old Republic games, stuff like that, RPGs, anything cool, anything unique to the original Xbox that's actually worth playing. Uh, if you have any suggestions in the comments, leave them below. I am sick, I'm not even making sense. So, <laughs> like the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, keep it real internet. I love you guys. I just like keep it. Leave it at the below. What the fuck? Let's rock and roll!